to Yupnik Spirits where I'm going to be doing an energy read. I am feeling so bright and shiny today and the energy has been so good. It's very action oriented and we're coming into very grounded energy here this week. So I'm excited for that because it's like dug in my heels in all these avenues that I've got opened up for me, you know, so excited balance so this reading will be about balance what is it you need to balance in your life what is it that needs to be fair are you getting reciprocity in your love in your work life in your home life in your family life i mean even with my kids there's reciprocity like we it's a back and forth we we are working on like no one takes stage it's conversations we we converse you know we all are equal in every way king of cups love someone loving someone emotionally grounded Someone that can express their love genuinely. Tell you how it is. Tell you that they love you like they don't. Ooh, and this is something you wished for. However, I don't think you realized that in order to have this, you would have to take a leap of faith. And that, that brought a tower to the situation. Because taking a leap of faith changes things. You leave everything behind when you take a leap of faith. Meaning, you're not with anything. Could be an empress that's doing this. It could be going towards an empress. Maybe there's a leap of faith that needs to be taken to get to the Empress. Leap of faith so hard. It's starting from the ground up, but it is freeing as all hell. And it is such a learning experience because even if it doesn't, and believe me, I've had it not go how I thought it was going to go. And it's, it might, it, it, it it might not go how you think but it'll be better you might need to send a text or you might get a text i think you're worried about taking a leap of faith and having it go worse than what you want but even if it doesn't go the way that you want it to it almost comes out better to go a different way you just have to be open to what's around you and not see the disappointment of what happened you need to be like okay well that didn't work out where do i go from here you know be open to like new opportunities and talking to new people and moving moving towards what it is you want and it looks like you want something stable a relationship maybe a job something that you'll work hard at something that you'll go the distance for and if you're willing to do that if it works out with one person or not it doesn't matter you'll find that a hundred percent because you're you're getting in the the motion of it you know you're like the space of it you know you're you're knowing what what is your happiness where is your passion where do you want that new adventure to be beautiful energy hmm. You might feel clouded, but you're looking for stability. It's 
all you want. Stability. Stability. You don't want third party situations anymore and you do not want to be disappointed anymore. At all. At all. People, I don't think, see this about you. It's hidden. But that's how you feel. And you're done with it. You're like, I'm done. I'm done. And so that's why this leap of faith is so important. But it's, it's almost like you feel like you're going to lose something if you go. But you're not. For entertainment purposes only, you are responsible for your own life. Make choices that resonate for you. And don't do things that harm you in any way. Like, always make decisions in love and light. I feel like there's been options. You've had many choices, but now it's time for things to change. You're looking to be stable in your emotions. You want a queen that will stand right next to you and be able to tell you that they love you, be able to show that they love you when you need loving, to be able to stand by you and calm that fucking ocean when it needs to be calmed. And you're wanting to go fast towards this. This is your desire. That's beautiful. And this creates a change. You're going to end one cycle to begin another. And I am going to stop there because that's beautiful. I will do some um, oracle and sign cards for anyone who needs a little strength or um, wants to see what sign is involved. They're very, um, I feel like your strength comes and goes. You're very bold and strong, but you have moments of weakness. Your heart chakra. Oh, your heart chakra is what is having an issue right now. You need to open up to love and express your emotions in situations. But in order to do that, you're going to need to clear your energy. You need to focus on love and light. That's so funny. Again, with love. It's about love. It's about loving yourself. Grounding yourself. Seeing what it is that you need. Oh my god, this is so funny. I mean, it's not funny. Don't get me wrong. But it's funny that it's all about love. Even this one. Give yourself love. This is about self-love, man. Go, go on an adventure. Go do something for you. I feel like you feel like your your life's mapped out for you. Like, turn it around. Make it be vast. Like, no restraints. So I'm going to claim these as Sun, Moon, Rising. There's quite a few of them. I've got Pisces. Cancer. Sun, Moon, Rising. Gemini. Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Aries, Aquarius, Scorpio, Capricorn, and Leo. So that is what I have for you guys. If this resonates, all my information's in the box below, and I will talk to you guys later. Peace, love, and light.